Hey guys, Logan here. Today I want to show you how to use and set up the NVIDIA GeForce Experience software. And here you can really get some great quality recordings. And there's actually a replay function that not all people are aware of. So let me show you how to set up this awesome software. First of all, I'm making this video because I heard many people not knowing of all the function in this software so this is why i'm making this video many people I play with in, in my discord uh, even people trying to send me some clips for the top place not all of them know how to actually do a kind of replay function or record something that's happened on the screen with great quality that is so that's why i'm making the video it's very important that you have an nvidia card for this the software will not work with other cards so nvidia cards I think AMD have their own software, but this is for NVIDIA experience, uh, so uh, NVIDIA cards only. And you know how to download this, it's very easy, just google it or get to this uh, NVIDIA.com GeForce. Here, download it here, and when you've done that and you installed it, just open it up. It should look like this. Yeah, here we are. Okay, yeah, here you can update your drivers, but up here to the right, open in-game overlay. Okay, here you can see the menu. And you have instant replay, record, broadcast live. You can actually go live with this thing. But that's for another video if we're supposed to do that. Yeah, okay. Go into the, the cog over here. Okay, you can connect, hold layout. You can choose if you have a camera, where it should be. I have it on off. Status indicator, you know, if you are recording or something. You can have a FPS counter up in the corner while playing. Viewers, I think this is kind of a, the live thing and comments also okay go back here uh, keyboard shortcuts here you can manage everything you like i have mine on my elgato stream deck here so i but but there's some shortcuts on the screen on the keyboard you know recordings here is very important where uh, where are you going to storage your recordings and your replays here videos and choose your where, where you want the recordings to go okay going down here highlights i think you should put this on off because it tends to fill up your hard drives with just ridiculous stuff that the, that the software think is highlights and they not usually are. Yeah, put the mode audio. Here is a really important thing. System, okay. That's like the headset you own. I have my microphone set on my Yeti and uh, you can boost it actually here. And separate both pa tracks here. That's really important. When you drag your clip into like say Sony Vegas or something, you can see separate audio tracks. One of them is your microphone and one of them is the game sound. So you can get them where you want them to be. Let's see the settings for an instant replay. This is the interesting part. I have mine, uh, my screen is 4040p and I play in 4040p and that's why I have it on 4040p. Uh, you can have it on in-game. Then it will set it to the game's resolution that you set in the game. I've had some issues with this, so I should say if you want, to, if you're playing in full HD, 1080p, set it on 1080p. Uh, I have mine on my resolution, and of course 60 FPS. You don't want to get 30, uh, and the bitrate as high as it goes. You want it to be so smooth as possible. So yeah, high as it goes. Up here, you can choose how long your replay is gonna be. Mine is three minutes. You can put it on like. 30 minutes, 20 minutes tops, sorry. Now it's really important that you do this, turn on. Now it's on. If I haven't done that, I can't do a replay. Now if I want a replay, then I just push Alt 10. Then it says, okay, saved. Yeah, okay, it's haven't been three minutes yet. So zero minutes, 23 seconds. Okay, so that, that got saved into my folder. Really handy. If something happens on your screen and you didn't record it, well, don't worry. You have your three minutes or five minutes or six, ten uh, of replay to just collect by pressing a button on your keyboard. That's really cool. But let's say we are going to record. Okay, let's turn off the replay. You don't have to do that, but but to do the settings, we need to turn it off. It's the same settings. You see, I, I came to the same settings when I pressed record. So. Yeah, instant replay length. Don't forget, turn that on. But remember to have your replay on. If you haven't 
just turn it on because if you don't have it I, I'm sure I can guarantee something awesome will happen on your screen and you won't be able to get a replay of it because your replay wasn't on so put it on leave it there it, it's not dragging your CPU down because like 1% or something uh, nothing really and when it comes to recording you have to start a recording and then you have to stop a recording I think you can do some replays simultaneously while you're doing a recording I think so. But remember to stop your recording when you're done. Uh, or else your file will be very big. And you have recorded like 3 hours and your hard drive is full. You don't want that. Yeah, and that's it. Real easy. Just keep your instant replay on and use the settings you've learned from me here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. I have my Discord channel down there too, so go check that out if you like to. As always, thank you so much for watching. And subscribe for more content, and please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And uh, maybe a dislike if you didn't. I hope to see you in my next one. This is Logan, signing out.